Thank you. Oh, yes. Hello, and welcome to the Art of Fashion, first edition 2020. Heck, this is the first edition ever. And you're lucky enough to be witnessing. But really, thanks for being here with us here tonight. We have an absolutely amazing show for you. We have art. We have fashion. We have B.O. <laughs> ah, just kidding. We smell great, just like fresh baked apple pie. Anyway, we got a lot to get to, so let's get things started with some music. Our first guest is an independent artist who played all over the world and has worked with artists such as David Johansson, Gary Lucas, Gogol Bordello, and Samba New York. Here he is with his hit song, Way to the World. Please put your hands together for Mr. Lee. <laughs> Happen. Have a seat, have a seat. So, me and Lee go way back. You know, we were in our first band together. It was resin, it was the 80s, it was the days of heavy metal and everything. But yeah. we kind of moved away from that. And actually, uh, Lee and I uh, kind of uh, lost track of each other, and then the magic of Facebook uh, brought us back together. Yeah. So, Lee, that, that song was really good. I, I loved it. It seemed like there was a political message going there. I mean, yeah. tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, Way of the World is uh, it's basically about, you know, how I'm feeling about uh, what's going on in our country right now, you know, and it's uh, some of the things I state in, in, in the middle of the song are, you know, no war for oil, you know, 
um, we're out of control without gun control. Um, you know, we need uh, you know help at the wall. We need to to make some changes uh, in so many different places in the country right now. We're going through so much pain. I think as a country, and um, it's really becoming a, li a little bit uh, embarrassing in some ways. And I feel like this is is really a time for change. And that song is really speaks to. Um, to, to people who are looking for that change. Excellent, excellent. And music is an excellent me medium to get that message across to yeah, people, right? Yes. People, re re you know, like, uh, they, yeah. they, they relate to that and they yeah. can appreciate it and they can maybe stir up some thoughts and emotions that maybe they didn't uh, have before, right? Exactly. What do you feel that? Yeah, music is, is really the great connector. I feel like music is, uh, in my life especially, has been a way to connect with people and connect with the world. So, mm. um, you know, as a musician and an artist, you have a special gift that uh, helps you to connect with more people in a certain way so you know in eternal in eternal words of uh, Bob Marley hit me with music you mm -hmm. know instead of with bombs you know hit me with information hit me with love yeah um, I feel like you know these are the things we need now we don't need to start more wars we need to start you know caring about each other more and looking at where this anger and pain is coming from yeah. and trying to stamp it out definitely you know I feel like we we, we made a lot of progress and now we've gone back you know, like 20 years, and it's just like we got to, we got to, we got to bring it back up. We, as Americans, we have to step up and and, and start making some change. Excellent, excellent. Um, I agree yeah. with that too. Yeah. So you have some uh, shows coming up in the near future. So I've been at Jacqueline's Wine on Main. Okay. Uh, up That's in, over uh, in the Manuet, right? The Manuet, New York. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, what day nice is that on? Nice little speakeasy over there. I'll be doing some uh, some solo stuff. That's uh, January 23rd. Okay. Um, other than that, uh, I'm going to go back into the studio. I'll be uh, shout out to New Warsaw Studios in uh, Bushwick, Brooklyn with uh, my co-producer Riley McMahon. Mm. Uh, you can hear some of the music that I've written and, and produced uh, at my website, MrLeeAndDiversity.com. Nice. And you can always reach me at MrLeeFarber at Yahoo.com if you want to get in touch about you know bookings or you have interest in in my music in any way, I, I, I'd be happy to speak with you or get in touch. Excellent. Well, well, Lee, I mean, thank you so much for coming tonight. Thank I you, really man. appreciate it. It was great. I love the music. We're going to hear yeah. some more with, with Lee in a few minutes. Yeah. Let's hear it for Lee. We're going to hear some more. All right. Thanks. Okay, we have a, our next guest. I don't think he needs any introduction, so I'm just going to introduce him. Please welcome Richie Rich. Hi. 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 Hi, baby. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Have a seat. Happy 2020, visionary. Yes, yes. Yeah. 2020. Hey. So, Richie, th th this is great. I'm, I'm so happy that you came on the uh, on the. I'm uh, happy uh, to be here. Yes. Mm. So, so you were uh, uh, an ice capade at one point, right? When you I used? was. Um, when I was in high school in California, I was born in New Jersey, but then. My dad worked for the New York Times, not far from here. Like, uh, and it's when Times Square was really bad, and it's getting mugged all the time, and it's when they'd rip your chain off your neck and what right. have you. So he's I remember like, those all, days. We're all moving to Cali, so we moved to Cali. I was like ten, and um, yeah, I skated. I had no friends that summer, so we'd go to the mall. And this coach saw me, and she's like, "You're really good, but you don't know what you're doing, but you're good at it." And I started taking lessons. And after high school, I was going to go to UCLA, and then I was like. Yeah, so I joined the ice capades, and yeah. uh, before that I was training with Christy Yamaguchi and Rudy Galindo and everybody and competing. Yeah. And um, but then I came into the club scene in San Francisco, and then then all the club kids in New York saw me, and I came here for the opening of Club USA, which was in Times Square, ironically. Right. And then the Limelight and right, the Tunnel, the Palladium, Limelight. Yeah. you know all those. What and, was your favorite club in the city? Um, I don't know. I liked them all. I think USA at the time because it was like this mecca mecca club and like designers like Gautier and uh, Terry Mugler and mm. everybody, they all did different rooms and levels and there was a slide from the VIP uh, down to the dance floor. Mm -hmm. People like Prince would show up and just do a concert for no reason. And right, just like it's, a it's back when the, in the nineties. It's when like celebrities and supermodels hung out with the kids from Avenue X Brooklyn. Like that's what mm. I loved about it. Now yeah. it's all bottle service and hoity-toity doors and all that. Mm. Right, right. We're, we're back then were the, the clubs a lot different in the city, in New York City. Oh yeah, than, I mean, than, than Vin Diesel was our was our uh, door guy with our friend Kenny Kenny, and and then Hollywood called him, and I don't know. And then that's how I got into fashion. So mm. then I was always a designer in my mind, but then I made clothes for my friends and things like that. And yeah. my friend Patricia. Field, uh, she was doing Sex in the City, so she had me do the T-shirt for Carrie, and I said, "Who's Carrie?" We were in Tokyo. I was, I was singing. I made records as well. Yeah. And she's like, "Don't worry about it." So I made it for Carrie, and it ended up being the Carrie Sex in the City ads around the world. Awesome. And that's so that, that's fantastic. My good friend David LaChapelle, photographer, mm -hmm. he got 
caught wind of what I was doing and I did my first runway show with him, nice. with Amanda Lepore, our friend. We painted her pink with MAC lipstick and um, so we did a video to open up and then he had me on set with like Mariah Carey and Little Kim and fun, fun people and a good friend, Paris Hilton, was like 16 years old so oh, wow. she'd come over all the time and she walked my first runway and then over the years my runways and then that led to Kim Kardashian and mm -hmm. lots of fun. Our friend Pamela Anderson. Yeah, do, do, you, do you think you being a uh, figure skater kind of helped you? Because you have to be kind of graceful and be able to kind of, you know, just <laughs> smooth across the, the runway. So do you think that your uh, skating kind of transferred over to the, to the, uh, to I the mean, runway? I in, in like, you know, all dreams come true sort of ways, it should be that way, but I'm actually really a klutz. Like, my mom is like, how did you get away? Like, how did you figure skate? Like, I, I like, I'm a click, click, klutz. But down the runway, I usually wear roller skates. Yeah. I almost wore them here. Oh. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, there is a graceful method to it all, but mm. actually, like, in ice capades, I used to hang out in the dressing, the, the costume department, rather, with mm -hmm. this queen named Jerry, and he'd have me bead and rhinestone, and so then it kind of just was like going to fashion school backwards. Mm. And, but, yeah. you, you know, me personally, like the one thing I can't stand about myself is my walk. I've been, you know, people have made fun of my walk the whole time. Do you think you can maybe just show me a little bit of uh, sure, like a baby. crash course on how, how, to, how I, I would mean, walk York, the runway? I mean, New York City is the best walking city in the world. So I mean, there's you know, a lot of walking. It literally is your runway. Like, yeah. You know when you see some, well, somebody sees you walking down the street like a friend or something, and they shout your name, but you don't hear. It. I'm always in my own little world, and I'm basically on the runway. Just, but I don't realize I'm doing it, and mm -hmm. I'm like, hey. So right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Show me how to how, sure. yeah. Show me how to do the runway. I'll say boom. <laughs> hey, who's this guy over here? It's, it's Nate the Mime again. What are you doing here, Nate? He just shows up at any time he wants to. <laughs> Hello. Boom boom. <laughs> how do you walk? I'm gonna see you walk. Yeah, boom. come on, Nate. Let's show boom. how you walk there. <laughs> you do a little fashion show here. Sure. Boom. Hey. Boom boom. Nice, nice, excellent. Well, well, awesome, thank you, Nate. You do your thing. Yeah, let me see what we got. Show me how to do it. Kind yeah, of take your boom. All right. Give some personality, like. Boom. Or you can, like, a little bit more Jersey boy. I won't, I won't make you walk like Naomi Campbell, so we'll, let me, let me give it a we'll shot. start with that Let's one. see what we got here. Let me try here. Boom. So I'm going to go. There you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, I, 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 I'm obviously not a real model. Why don't we get some real models out here to do the show and tell stuff? Come on. Job. <laughs> Thank you. Oh wow, look what we have models here. How how'd that happen? <laughs> <laughs> show us how the runway works. Let's get some we'll have some music there. Bum bum bum. Fabulous, she's got it. Mm -hmm. I think you've done this before. <laughs> That's Elise. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming, Elise. Of course. Yeah. Woo! Mm -hmm. Woo! That's <laughs> gorgeous. Love. Good job. And that's how you do a runway walk. Hey, you just mix it up, baby. So, 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 Richie, you do have some brands coming out. Tell us a little bit about what's coming out this year. Oh, yeah, this it's going to be Fun Electric. It's going to be all about it. It's going to come out this spring. Just look around for it. It'll be in the stratosphere. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. It was a pleasure having, having you. Thank you, girls. And thank you, girls, Ooh, for coming. Nice. Awesome. Bridging gaps above and beyond. Please welcome Sparrow. <laughs>
All right, so Sparrow, you are running for election this year. Yes. Yeah, so uh, you must have a couple positions that you're standing on. So if you win the election, explain how you're going to help those in financial need. Uh, well, I have a plan for agribusiness to be implemented. First, I want to target the low-income families. Uh, there's a lot of systems out there to supposedly help them become self-sufficient, but it's a loophole of if they never get off what they're all what what they're currently on, which is usually the welfare system or housing assistance, which is usually the concern of most people. They feel that that takes from their taxes. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe we should target where that money's going into more self-sufficiency, such as agribusiness, so they could agriculture hemp. Mm. Hemp. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So, what? what you, I mean, uh, the legalization of marijuana is a very hot topic these days. Yes. So, what's your feelings about that? Oh, I sh think we should legalize that federally on all levels. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank so, you. well, let's hear for uh, Sparrow. Thank you. Please put your hands together for Mr. Lee. <laughs> This is dedicated to the people of New Orleans and Singapore Martelesti. Too young, Singapore, too young, Singapore, too young, Singapore. Fuck the fella down in New Orleans. Yeah. The funkiest band that you've ever down and check them out, yeah. Weed is still burning, gonna turn it out. Do ya, Zigaboo, do ya, Zigaboo, do ya, Zigaboo. Lose it down there, spicy like a gumbo. So much to hear, yeah. Gonna have a smile from ear to ear. Yeah. When you look into the past, look into the eyes. We are leaves have seen the worst, but still the best is shines. Corporations pollute the law, and the government denies. But these people. Look into the eyes. That's what you see. New Orleans. 
means to seen the worst, but dancing in the streets. New Orleans is the hardest place, and they come back right away. Cause these people don't, don't give up. These people just don't give up. These people just don't give up. They spirit and they cry, yeah. boo to ya. Sing a boo to ya. Okay, I'm standing here with Sanchild. Uh, she accompanied Lee on that last song. Uh, she did some great rapping. And uh, Sanchild, where can we uh, find more about you? You can go to my Instagram at charlize.green, or you can contact me at my email, charlizegreen03 at gmail.com. Excellent. Well, great job. Thanks for coming out tonight. All right. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Sanchild. My next guest is an artist whose beautifully rendered artworks evoke a dreamy sensual elegance of exquisite artistry. She works with renowned clients such as Nexus, L'Oreal, Microsoft, Clarol, and Revlon, just to name a few. Her illustrations are used for TV commercials, national ad campaigns, as well as licensed products. Please welcome Jenny Yip. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming tonight, Jenny. Um, so, so you work with a lot of companies. You're a professional mm -hmm. artist. You do a lot of work. Um, you, you've had a, a, a commission recently for mother and son uh, portrait winning, uh, award winning portrait. Uh, this was uh, also documented in Wall Street. Can you tell me a, a little bit about that? Uh, yes. Um, well, my client had commissioned me to do um, the portrait first. and. Um, then he wrote a, a, a memoir. He finished it and um, uh, chose the commission portrait out of uh, three other images um, mm -hmm. for the cover mm -hmm. of his memoir and submitted um, to the um, uh, the New Generation Indie Award and won for the best memoir. Oh, that's and excellent. My art was. You know, chosen for the cover. Yeah, and you have the cover with us right now. Can I have oh, a take a look at that? Yes, yes. Yeah, so this is the, um, the, the cover that, that, that was uh, one here. Okay, we can take right. a look at that there. Yes. Yeah, so. This is, um, right. Well, the publisher, um, yeah, um, to, to reflect his, his life, um, he's a nuclear physicist. This is when he was um, one or one and a half years old, um, baby sitting on his mother's lap. And um, so it, it, it uh, talks about his life from a childhood to, um, you know, to, uh, to his um, time in the university studying uh, nuclear physics um, to a processing um, nuclear physicist. And so that's why it's in stages from the sketch that I did initially to, um, to um, partially render and fully render. Nice. Um, that's yeah. great. That's great. And you also yeah. have another book that was uh, that you were a part of also, and this was from. Uh, let's yeah, take a look this at this is one. This is Eva Scrivo on Beauty. Yeah, it is also an award-winning book. So I'm, I feel very honored to have participated in two award-winning books. Yeah. So this yeah. is excellent. 
And this is, yeah, my illustration here in the opening mm -hmm. page. Yeah. It's beautiful. Well, one of 98 um, illustrations and drawings. Okay, so you have about 100, 100 uh, illustrations almost, almost throughout the book. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. So is there any contact information that we can reach you back at? Uh, yes. Uh, give them yeah. now? Yeah, okay, sure. sure. Um, my uh, email, Jenny, J-E-N-N-I-E, at Jenny Yip. J N N I E Y I P dot com. Mm -hmm. And is right. there any kind of website or anything that other than oh, the Gmail that you have a? a yes, associated? I'm on Instagram, okay. uh, Jenny Yip Jenny Yip Studio, and uh, Facebook, and um, I, under Jenny Yip, and yeah. also um, on LinkedIn, Jenny Yip. Jenny um, Yip on LinkedIn also. On LinkedIn, yeah. Excellent. Not Twitter. It's just too much. Yeah, there's a lot on Twitter. Yeah. Do I don't do Twitter either. Yeah. Okay, well, 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 Jenny, I, I really appreciate you coming yeah. out today. It was great uh, having you here, and, yeah. and good luck with everything. You're going to have a great 2020. I can't wait to see what else you have in store Thank for us. Thank you. All right, let's hear it for Jenny Yip. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Richie Rich tonight. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for bringing your model tonight, guys. Thank you. All right. And what was your name? Simone. Simone. Okay, and yours? Elise. Elise, thank you so much for coming tonight. Well, that's our show tonight. I'm glad you guys had a good time. I hope you did as much as I did. Thank you for watching Art of Fashion TV. We're going to see you next time. Good night.